You know, we're blessed to live in East Tennessee. We are surrounded by beautiful nature, the mountains, all the wildlife. It's important that we take care of it and the animals living here. Our Ellie Bird takes us to a special place with that mission in mind. I'm here at the Little Ponderosa Zoo in Clinton, where it is a truly unique experience for everyone, where we're not just rehabilitating animals, but we're educating everyone on the wildlife that we have here to offer in East Tennessee. The owner, Corbin Cox, says this is their busiest time of the year for native wildlife rehabilitation, bringing in more than 200 birds, raccoons, possums, and more just this year. Anything you see running wild, We've had it one time or another. They have rescued animals from all across the U.S. and found them forever homes. Cox says the animals are either surrendered by the owners who couldn't take care of them anymore, or they're rescued because of an injury. But sometimes the zoo becomes the animal's forever home. Of two raccoons, one of them was albino that came here when my dad was still here, and he saw that if we turn him back out, he's going to be a target. I mean, he's. You know what I mean? He stands out. And so he took it upon himself and jumped through the hoops and finally to you over said, okay, look, you can keep him educational. You might as well just keep him because you're right. If we turn him out, he's, you know, it's no quality of life. It's over with, you know, so. In 2019, TWRA made them a certified wildlife rehab facility. Now they rescue and rehabilitate most of the native wildlife here in Tennessee. Cox says helping the animals is one part of it, but the overall goal is to teach people how to take care of the wildlife and nature. I want people to know that there's still good in the world and that we're a big part of that. And as far as nature goes and preserving that, it's preserving wildlife and educating children, educating adults, anybody that wants to know about it, we're here for that. And that's our number one thing. The zoo is a nonprofit, so they rely solely on donations and admission costs to pay for the animals' health care, food, and upkeep. In Knoxville, Ellie Bird, WVLT News.